Okay, um, today we'll be talking about bounded sets. Now, when is a set set to be bounded or a function set to be bounded? A function is set to be bounded if there exists a constant m such that f of x is less than m for all x in the interval. Then f is set to be bounded above and m is called the upper bound. That is when your f of x is less than m then your m is the upper bound and f is set to be bounded above so the same thing if your f of x is less than m your f is set to be bounded below and your m is called the lower bound so here we have an example they said given that f of x is equal to 3 plus x is bounded on the interval of minus 1 less than x less than what 1 now for me you should be able to know that this is the lower bound why this is the word upper bound. I got what I'm saying now. So I want to know what value will I have when my f is bounded above. So how will you do this? You have what your f of x equals to what piggy plus x. Now at above your x is what one. I got what I'm saying. So any, anywhere you see x is fifteen one, that will be what piggy plus one, and that will give you what four. That means my f of x is bounded above by what? By 4. Have you got what I'm saying? So similarly, your f of x will be bounded below 3 plus x. Don't forget, this is your lower bound. So anywhere you see x now, you put minus 1. And that will be what? 3 minus 1, which will give us what? 2. That means f, f of x is bounded below by what? Two, and it is bounded above by 4. Do you understand that now? So that is that under bounded function. Let's see one more example before we go. Let's say we have a function example. Let's say f of x is equals to let's try to form a question. Um, f of x is equals to 1 minus 2t. I got what I'm saying. Let's say f of x is equal to 1 minus 2t and 2 minus t. Then it said it's bounded by um, minus 2 less minus 2 less than or equals to x less than or equals to 5. Now if I'm to get this the same thing I did for that one, so you can go ahead and pause the video. And try to solve it on your own. So, for it to be bounded above, it will be what f of x equals what one minus what five, right? Then what two minus what five? Do you get that now? So that will be what one minus ten. Open back at what minus what three. Hope you are getting that, and that gives us what minus 9 minus 3. And if you multiply minus 9 and 3 together, you should be able to get what 27. That means my f of x is bounded at 27. Do you get that now? So, to check for when it is bounded below the same thing, you go for minus 2, and that was 1 minus 2. Open bracket minus 2, open bracket 2, minus, open bracket minus 2 again. So that will be what? 1 plus what? 4, and what? 2 plus what? 2. And that will give us what? 1, I mean that will give us 5, and what? 4. And that will be what? 20. That means x is f of x is bounded below by 20 and it is bounded above by what? 27. So this is the major thing you need to know on bounded function. Thank you very much.